Hey, wait a minute. Some of my stuff is gone. That two-bit thief robbed me. Pretty smoothly, too. So you have to combine sock with dog. Here you go, boy. Get a big whiff of this. I think he's got the scent. Okay, boy, dig me up a vile looking treasure chest. Hey, where you going? Bad dead dog. Back to the crossroads we go. Franklin, there you are. You're supposed to be finding LeChuck's hidden treasure for me. What are you doing here? Oh, such a cute little dog. Is he yours? Um, no. <laughs> what are you hiding, Caleb? More than meets the eye. So, nothing. Here, I'll talk. What? Why, I never. <laughs> hmm, but you do have the treasure. So I'll ask you, you'll say no, and around we'll go. It's hard to say. <laughs> I'd like to buy that spirit photo, please. I think my wife will get a kick out of it, once I figure out how to get back to her. How much is it? That should cover it. Enjoy the memories. Have a whiff of this thing, Fibby McFarfignugan. That's not my ne- Hey! That smells like him! But Chuck's treasure. Way to go, Franklin, you salty dog. Now look, you've sullied the air over there. That's what I smelled right before taking a thump to the head all those years ago. That is one ugly chest. Oh man, it's locked. And I left my hook on my other body. Now how am I going to get it open? Eh, we'll figure it out. I don't know if you're talking about walkthrough. Welcome back, friend. Do you think you can unlock this completely non-valuable treasure chest for me? There's a worthless slip of paper inside that I really need. Um, I'll let you keep the chest in exchange. Sure, friend. In fact, I already unlocked the chest while you were talking. But I'm afraid it's empty. What? See for yourself. Hey, what was that? What was what, friend? You just kicked my spell into that pile. I'm sure I don't know what you're talking about. Huh. We'll see about that. Okay, so you want to distract him? Then use the dog? Excuse me. What is it, friend? Would you mind, uh, looking behind you again? There's something behind me, you say? Hmm, better have a look. Why, I don't see anything over here. Okay, boy, do your thing. Are you sure you meant behind? Maybe if I try squinting. Sorry, boy. Okay, if he sees you with the scroll, he'll just, just take it away again. Longer. Wait till he's but showing me I'm out, then make a break for it. Why, I don't see so anything I... over here. Time to go, friend. Oh, right. <laughs> Till next time, friend. Yep. Okay, so you want to go There you are. Okay, give me the spell. 
Oh no, what have you done with the spell? Did you bury it here with all the treasure somewhere? Bad, Franklin. Okay, boy, do your thing. Back in the code for you, you little spell thief. It's the spell that Chuck used to escape back into the living world. The physical and spiritual realms coexist as do night and day. To journey from one to the other, a pirate must know his way. Search around you and within you to find these things, and at the center of the crossroads, present them in a ring. The journey is confusing. Something must guide your way. And you must have an anchor to ensure that you will stay. What gives you courage to face the dangers to come? and a sacrifice in your name that cannot be undone. Well, we have an anchor. And we might as well go to Morgan. Hey, you. What's up? I found a spell that will let me return to the land of the living. Really? That's great! How do we use it? First, I need to gather a bunch of ingredients, but I'm having some trouble figuring out what they're supposed to be. Maybe you can help. Maybe. What are the items? The journey is confusing. Something must guide your way. Sounds like you need something to point you in the right direction. I must have an anchor to ensure that I will stay. Hmm. I swear I saw something like that over in the treasure hunting area. What gives you courage to face the dangers to come? I don't know. What do you pirates use when you stupidly take on insurmountable dangers without an ounce of fear? Pirates do that? Boy, I need to learn how they do that. Part of the spell requires a sacrifice made to me. That sounds pretty complicated. Maybe you should focus on the other ingredients first. Yeah, good idea. Did Galeb try to sell you a picture of your spirit at the crossroads too? He tried, but I don't like people taking pictures of me. It's bad for my business. Sounds like he got his camera fixed by the time you got here though. Hey, when you crossed over, were you still clinging to a Shred of Life too? Shred of Life? No. But I guess it makes sense for you, considering everything you left behind. What would you say was the most important thing to you when you were alive? My independence, probably. I liked being my own woman. Still do. Don't run off. I don't think I'm allowed to. Good luck with the sword fighting gig. Okay, I'll be back. Let's put these stuffs. Um, the crossroads escape spell says I need to put stuff in a ring at the center of the crossroads. I should go ahead and bring. Hey, Caleb. Hello. Huh. Looks like he wandered off. Maybe he'll turn up later. So, Franklin, Angkor, and Grog. Rather, Courage. So, Grog. One bottle of liquid courage. Check. Franklin. Something to find your way. Check. <laughs> Sit. Stay. Good dog. And anchor. Fingers away. Check. Okay. 
All I need is a sacrifice in my name. Where the heck am I supposed to find that? Back to Morgan. Hey, you. What's up? Hey, Mo. I still need one more thing for the crossroads spell. Some kind of sacrifice. I can't find it anywhere. Yeah, I've been thinking about that. I think I have an idea. Come on, I'll show you. Okay, where is this sacrifice? I I don't see anything. Right here. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Is that is that a good idea? What? No, no. This is just my reputation. I can easily build that back up again. Well, okay. Are you sure? Right. Thank you. <clears throat> well, don't just stand there. Get on with the spell. Of course, the spell. Wait, I don't know what else I'm... Well, I guess this is it. Seems safe enough. Ladies first. Hey! That's weird. I can go through no problem. Oh, heck no! I am not getting stuck in this afterlife. So, what are you gonna do? I don't know. You just go on through and take care of your business. I'll figure it out. Okay. Wish me luck. Ah, ah! Why won't this thing open? Elaine, get over here and help me. I've spent months getting those mangy voodoo cursed monkeys into place so I could conjure up the entrance to the crossroads. I won't be thwarted now. Oh, come on. I broke your spirit, not your back. Get over here and push. You know, you didn't have to actually kill him. And why not? Do you know the number of times that bony buccaneer has killed me? Look. I let you catch me, and I played along with your stupid nice guy act because I thought that it would get Guybrush to realize that the voodoo Do lady was- Do not mention that woman in my presence. That cursed voodoo witch will control my fate no more. Now that I have La Esponja Grande, I can use it to suck pure, unlimited voodoo energy directly from the source. I will become the demon pirate god, and you will be my goddess. And this time, there will be no Guybrush Threepwood to spoil our wedding plans. <laughs> what was that? Yes, that's it! tell you what's going on here. You've lost! I now have full access to the unlimited voodoo power of the crossroads themselves! This is my moment of ultimate triumph! So, ghost of Guybrush Threepwood, would you like to RSVP for the wedding now or later? You won't get away with this, LeChuck! Whatever it is you're doing, 
I've opened the crossroads themselves to stop you. You opened the crossroads. <laughs> then I suppose I have to thank you for doing my bidding for a second time. Ah. Uh. So you admit, I am better than you. You are the only living soul that can do that, uh, you know. Boy, was my face red when La Esponja Grande turned out to be so small. But then, you took right care of that, didn't you? <laughs> the voodoo lady the said... voodoo lady? By the way, does anyone know if she has a name? It feels weird just calling her voodoo lady. But I'll be taking care of her soon, too. <laughs> I have infused the Cutlass of Kaflu with demonic power that no mortal can touch. Hmm. This weapon that was designed to destroy me will ultimately set me free when I use it to slay the woman who has locked you and I in this perpetual loop of fate. Isn't that right, Elaine? Yes. And we shall slay her together. Make me your demon bride. What? My demon bride. Kind of gets you all choked up in here, doesn't it? I hope she plays Face off. it, Threepwood. The Chuck has more power than any pirate could possibly dream of. And besides, you're dead now. Well, so is he. I'm sorry, Guybrush. Bunny. No! <laughs> Elaine is mine! And yet here you are, ghost of Guybrush Threepwood, trying to interfere with my big moment with Elaine once again. Well, come on and stop me! Give it your best stab! should hold the Aha! Prepare to meet your... Oh, come on! Problem? Why can't I grab anything? That's just one of the side effects of being a fleshless spectre. Good thing you are, though. Just one slice of that re-enchanted blade is enough to destroy anything it touches in this mortal world. But I was gonna use that to save you and kill the Chuck again. It ain't so easy being a ghost now, is it, Mr. Threepwood? Well, that's how I felt all those years ago, when I was a simple ghost pirate roaming the seas. And now, you are about to know how it felt when you ripped my spiritual essence to shreds when you doused me with that ghost-destroying voodoo root beer! Uh, Lady Poo? Let's not be hasty. It felt a lot uh -oh. like this! <laughs> <laughs> Guybrush, what happened? Did you defeat LeChuck? Save your wife? Avenge my death? She... she's zapped me. What? Elaine, she's LeChuck's demon bride. And she zapped me with voodoo root beer. Demon bride? She must be under LeChuck's control. Get back in there and save her! No, she's not. She looked me right in the eyes, and then chose him. They're gonna take over the world together. There's a demonic sword involved. It's over. Well, that's good news. Huh? Now you're free to just curl up and enjoy a sad, pathetic eternity in Pirate Afterlife. Of course, I'm not sure if they're still letting whiny schoolgirls in. You'll have to check. Come on, Morgan. I just lost my wife. So go take her back, Guybrush. Are you a mighty pirate or aren't you? I... Look, I know you're not the most fearsome pirate to sail the Seven Seas, but what I've learned about the Guybrush Threepwood that inspired me for my entire life is that there isn't any situation he can't handle. And the one thing I've admired about you throughout our entire adventure together is that you never gave up on a lane. 
Maybe if I could find a way to use that cutlass. But if I go back, they'll just zap my ghost again. So get your body back. What, just find my body and repossess it? Wait, that sounds kind of familiar. The voodoo lady's locket. Find the locket, find your body. And then bring the fight to that decrepit sack of sea worms and make LeChuck rue the day he decided to mess with Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate. Yes! I still have no clue what Rue means. But it sounded great. So, what are you going to do? I'm going to go skewer some more sorry ghosts. Maybe practice my pickpocketing. I don't know. Something. Morgan. Thanks. Fool Treepwood, what have you done? Ah! Talking crabs! Why did you open the crossroads? With the barriers shattered, LeChuck is now beyond all control, plundering voodoo energy directly from the spirit realm. Thanks to you, reality itself could unravel like a cheap rug. Me? What about you, Miss All-Knowing, All-Seeing, Voodoo Puppet Mistressy Person? Why didn't you warn me that LeChuck had nefarious plans for La Esponja Grande? I'm afraid LeChuck made fools of us all this time, Guybrush. But hope is not yet lost. Well, fool me once, shame on me. Um, you, uh, uh fool me twice, uh, uh, uh well, uh, you can't get fooled again. In fact, I'm already working on a plan to possess my body, so they can't zap me with root beer again when I go back. Yes, the voodoo root beer only affects spiritual manifestations in the physical realm. If you can manage to repossess your body, you may yet be able to use LeChuck's weapon against him. You mean the Cutlass of Kaflu? You must figure that out for yourself. Go now. Find your body. Find a way for your spirit to possess it. But remember, rebinding a soul to a body is not as simple as taking yourself over. You're rebelling against the natural state of things, and the universe will push back. Once you have possessed your body, you'll have to find a more permanent way to bind it to your soul. I recommend Mix and Mojo brand Spirit Gum. It can create a powerful spiritual bond that will bring your restless spirit and body together in harmony. It's also delicious. It comes in lemon, cherry, and mutton flavors. I always have some with me. Can you give me some of that spirit gum? I cannot risk coming out of hiding to aid you, Guybrush. But I was chewing some when I was imprisoned back on Flotsam. I may have left some back in the jail cell. Remember, Spirit gum contains some ingredients from the spirit realm, so it retains some ghostly properties. Be careful with it. I must go now, Guybrush. It is too dangerous for me to let my true whereabouts be known. Ugh, I hope this is just a phase she's going through. Morgan? Hello? Where'd she go? Okay, so there's no reap. So. Whoa. This whole jumping between realms thing is gonna take some getting used to. Hey you, pipe down. We're in the middle of a pirate wake here. A what? Oh, yep, that's me. 
This is a pretty disappointing wake. Yeah, well, LeChuck's killing spree may have hindered the turnout a bit. And why am I posed like that? It's zany. The customers love it. What? That's exactly the way I remember you. Hi there. Captain Threepwood, as I live and breathe! Don't rub it in. Ooh, I'm a scary ghost. Yeah! Uh, quit that! You aren't scary! You just screwed up my concentration! Root beer. Yikes! I better not stand under that. I don't want it splashing down on me. Yo, bug eye! What do you want, pipsqueak? So, how did you get out of the manatee and end up on Flotsam? I don't want to talk about it. I bet I can guess. You ignited the gases in the stomach, which resulted in a catastrophic explosion, destroying everything within a 25-mile radius? And yet, here I am, without a scratch on me. So was I right? You're an idiot. Yo, bug eye! What do you want, pipsqueak? Hey, whatever happened to that locket Dakava had? Probably at the bottom of the ocean with the rest of... Well, it's at the bottom of the ocean. Never mind. Hey, WP. Hold on a tick. I won't. Please stop throwing darts at me. What do you care? You're dead. But I need my body. I'm not done with it. Sorry. <laughs> Just be grateful that I'm not a very good shot. I bet things have been pretty quiet in the old courthouse since I heroically gave my life to cure the pox of LeChuck. It's true! Without that LeChuck and Pox voodoo poison coursing through our veins, flotsam citizens have returned to their usual roguish yet not entirely evil ways. LeChuck and Pox? Great name. Why didn't I think of that? But with LeChuck on the loose, the crime rate is going through the roof! He did things to poor old Crimp Digit that we don't even have names for yet! Oh. Talk to you later. Hey, it's Jacques the monkey. Hey, little guy. Huh. Wonder why his eyes are all funky again. Oh, I can't make the doorknob turn. Stupid ghostly limitations. I guess you have to get back. Caleb? What are you doing over here? Standing, mostly. What's going on with the crossroads? I thought the spell would take me back, not just rip open the spiritual realm. Is there any way to stop it? Yes. I assume you are still carrying around that last shred of life you came here with. If you were to give that up, the rips in the crossroads should close right up. Really? It's as simple as that? Yep. A simple sacrifice of a teensy shred of life and all these rips will seal up good as new, putting everyone in their place for eternity. Of course, you'd be stuck here for good, and LeChuck is probably already powerful enough to destroy every living thing on the planet, so I don't see what good it'd do. So I can close these rips, but then I'll really be stuck here? A pirate's life. Not for me. For eternity, 